New England Gardening here. Today Saturday, April 14th. And um, I'm going to try planting some potatoes this year. So I ordered some potatoes from Johnny Seeds. Uh, last year I was going to order them, but they were out by the time I thought of it. Uh, and they, they seem to be really popular these days, especially on these gourmet cooking shows. But uh, I'm going to give a try to these fingerling potatoes. And these... These are Russian banana uh, fingerlings, so evidently I have to cut these up, uh, one to two eyes uh, per piece, um, golf ball sized. Uh, a couple of these look kind of dehydrated, but we'll see. But I have to cut these up if I want to plant these tomorrow because you need to sit, let them sit overnight to, to let the cut end callus and they recommend for fingerlings um, cross cuts I guess what on the larger ones you do you can do cuts completely across the longest length of the potato I don't know so I've never grown potatoes before so I'll give this a try and um, so I have to go ahead and cut these up. Now the reason you want to let them dry overnight is to reduce the likelihood of rot so they callus over um, overnight somewhat and uh, you can plant these I guess four weeks before last frost date. Now they're predicting like 88 degrees this Sunday that's kind of nuts because it still gets down the other day it got down to 35 and it still gets down in the 40s so it's a pretty good temperature swing there so they give you a nice little slip of uh, instructions with the potatoes it says here uh, drop potato pieces about two to three inches deep twelve inches apart and rows of 30 to 36 inches apart uh, do not allow soil to dry out once foliage has reached six to eight inches hill up around the base of the plants leaving four inches of the plant above soil level being careful not to damage the roots of the plants and hill up a second time two to three weeks later and you can put straw or hay mulch uh, can be applied after hilling. So again, this is the first time I've grown or attempted to grow potatoes, so I have to learn about this hilling. And I guess you get potatoes in about 50 days after planting uh, some early varieties. So I don't know how early uh, the Russian banana potatoes are, but We'll find out. So I'll go ahead and cut these. If I can distinguish the eyes on on these or not, I don't know. Kind of smooth. Difficult. To, I mean, these are obvious with the start here. The plant already growing. I don't know. They say about golf ball size, so oh, I need a better knife than that. That just tears it up. Okay, let's try this. Oh, that's better. You can see the color of those potatoes. Hmm. I guess. Those are golf ball sized. Guess that's an eye. One to two eyes. Hmm. There. Hmm. 
I'm being a little conservative here because I've never done this before, but it looks like I'll have plenty of plants anyways. That seems about right. No, I don't even see an eye on that, I guess. Let's see. Let me get some more out of that. This doesn't look this one doesn't look too good. Hmm. Looks good inside. Well, that looks like, you know, I don't know how many potatoes you usually get off of a plant, but again, I'll let these dry overnight, and I guess I'll prepare the raised bed today and plant these tomorrow. So, I don't know if I'll get this all into one video or split this video into two. So, this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.